Hey, my name is Austin, and when I was told years ago by my doctor that I was borderline pre-diabetic, I honestly had no idea what it meant. I assumed it was a warning and just kept living my life as if I never had that visit. Turns out that pre-diabetes is not only a sign of future problems, but also an indication that your body has current metabolic dysfunction. Honestly, if you're not having labs done regularly, it's easy to miss, and that's why it's estimated that 84% of people who have prediabetes have absolutely no idea. Most people find themselves to be prediabetic as a result of several different factors, including overnutrition, stress, sleep deprivation, lack of exercise, and family history. Basically, each of these things, through different mechanisms, can lead to insulin resistance, which is a vicious cycle that leaves you with elevated glucose levels and elevated levels of insulin all throughout the day. So how exactly do you reverse prediabetes? Well, first you have to know how to identify it. Being pre-diabetic would mean that your fasting glucose is between 100 and 125 milligrams per deciliter and having an A1C between 5.8 and 6.4%. Having prediabetes can feel like brain fog, overall cognitive decline, low energy, and even low libido. Luckily for us, prediabetes is reversible and it can be done naturally. The best way to reverse it is to aim for stable blood sugar and efficient glucose processing. This means adopting a few new habits like choosing whole foods over processed foods, managing sleep and stress, moving your body frequently, getting enough micronutrients, and supporting your microbiome. Ultimately, reversing prediabetes means bringing glucose levels back into optimal range, and each of the habits I just mentioned are instrumental in stabilizing blood sugar. But let's be honest, many of us live busy lives and changing habits can be hard. So here are five changes that you can make to your diet right now that can help to reverse prediabetes. Number one, avoid sugar. Let's face it, Consuming sugar is the fastest way to raise your blood sugar, and limiting glucose spikes is at the foundation of reversing prediabetes. Number two, try to stay away from processed foods and grains. The more processed the food, the more likely it is to cause a quick rise in glucose. Number three, get more fiber in your life. You'd be surprised at how quickly you can reach 50 grams of fiber per day when you eat fibrous foods like beans, legumes, nuts, seeds, vegetables, and some fruits, including avocados. Number four, avoid naked carbs. Be sure to pair your carbs with fat, fiber, or protein. And in, in fact, you should take it a step further and eat your fat, fiber, or protein prior to your carbs. Research shows that this slows the rate at which your body absorbs and processes the carbohydrate, which leads to more stable blood sugar. And lastly, make sure you're getting enough micronutrients. Vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants play an important role in making sure everything is running smoothly. Keep your plate colorful and talk to your doctor about supplements where you might be experiencing a deficiency. Listen, the human body is resilient and will immediately respond to your new habits. Although glucose levels won't normalize overnight, consistently practicing these habits will give you the best chance at reversing prediabetes and put you on a path toward optimal metabolic health. Thanks for watching.